you think? Good. Hey, hey, what's happening? Sunday morning, 10-15, 2017. And I'm headed to my place for just a few hours, maybe two hours. Uh, I gotta get some yard work done. And after yesterday's debacle with the weather and storms and flooding, uh, the ground is dry. Now the grass isn't very dry. Uh, but I just need to kind of maybe cut some uh, grass today. Um, you know, pick up some leaves, that type of stuff. Uh, I've been having increasingly worse shoulder pain each day. Um, yesterday I realized that I had a massive, almost like a baseball sized or tennis ball sized knot on my left shoulder blade. And Vicky helped uh, massage that out and stuff. So I'm almost wondering if I should look into, um, getting like a massage done or something like that uh, and see if that fixes it I think on Thursday I'm going to be off work for court and maybe I can um, schedule like a massage that day and maybe even like a doctor's appointment so if it's basically not taken care of by then I'll um, you know I'll have to go to the doctor it's not feeling better. So I, it's weird because I think it was, was it Thursday or Friday that it was feeling better? One of the days it was feeling better, like almost normal. And then you know, it was probably Friday. And then Friday I did some more um, server racking where I was kind of like holding the server with my left hand and screwing it in with my right. And I bet you that's what kind of did it or got it sore again, but, uh, really, really excited about the range, range day yesterday, so, I was able to get on this paper, um, that was phenomenal, awesome, very, very cool, I'm so excited, I mean, I've been going for weeks and weeks and weeks and haven't been able to hit really a damn thing, um, so, that's pretty cool, uh, appears as if the elevation is correct so if my shots are too high I need to dial it so that my um, the turret setting needs to go down and that'll bring my shot down uh, if I do the uh, windage like left or right that's kind of backwards so like if the shots going to the uh, left I need to dial it to the right and then that works. So, um, but yeah, I was able to hit some some uh, targets out to 200 yards. I was getting about um, a 3 MOA drop at 200 yards. So I'm kind of wondering if um, if I should zero it for 200 yards and then figure out a way to compensate for the 100 yard shooting. So 100 yards. Uh, that would if I if I um, dial it in for 200 yards, 100 yards, I'll be shooting high. And I got to look at some like ballistics charts and stuff like that for my caliber to figure out kind of what the best optimal range is to zero my my gun. So uh, I'm shooting a 22 250. Uh, my buddy Luke is shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor, and I think uh, there was another guy that was shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor, and he was talking about. Uh, he zeroed his at 400 yards. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of have to see see what happens. But, uh, crazy though, like shooting 200 yards with a 9x scope, you can see the target if it's large enough, but you can't quite make out, you know, where, um, you know, where the impacts are and all that, so, I don't know, I think maybe I should get, like, some AR-500 steel, and then, uh, you know, just hang that, and then when I hit it, and it dings, that's good, you know, like, whatever, uh, <clears throat> yeah, maybe that's what I'll do, there was a guy there yesterday that had, like, two shepherd's hooks, 
that you basically like hang like flower baskets on, you know, that you can get anywhere. He just had a couple of those and he was running like a string in between them and then he was putting up um, targets on his string and all that stuff. I think he was hanging uh, clays or something. So when he hit the clays, that you know, they exploded or whatever. So my shoulders really starting to worry me though. You know, with my job and all that, I don't, you know, I'm working with my arms, my hands, my feet, my legs, and uh, I don't know, but I, I think I got, for the most part, all of my hardware installed. Now it's just cabling, but it's still, you know, cabling above my head and running connections up from up above my head down uh, into the racks and stuff like that, so uh, my range of motion feels like it's limited or um, what whatnot. You know, even like today, I gotta go cut the grass, so you gotta push the mower with uh, two hands. Thank God it's a self-propelled, um, but um, not good, not good. So, I gotta unload all my stuff in the car, clean out my car a bit. Um, yeah, a lot going on, a lot going on. Vicky's been doing some really badass stuff at her place, her new place. She's been decorating, buying new, like, you know, kitchen stuff, kitchen utensils. Um, you know, all that type of stuff. We're going to have to get her a new set of uh, pans. I tried to make her an omelet today and it failed. And her pans are just so worn out. And uh, maybe, what, what is it? So her birthday's in a month. I'm hoping she uh, doesn't get any now. And uh, maybe I can get that for, for her birthday present or something. You know, pans are two, three, four hundred dollars Um guess what? Yesterday, showed Luke BitConnect, and he was like, fuck yeah, dude. He went and cashed out all of his crypto. Let me, let me pause this for a second. Just making sure I can save my clips here. He cashed out all of his crypto, like nine ether, um, I don't know, $500 worth of Bitcoin or whatever he had, and he did, I don't know, like 3k worth of loans or something like that. He actually did two different loans. But, uh, and he's happy because he cashed out his Ether at like 345 and I think it dropped like 20 bucks or something each uh, today. So this was yesterday he did all this. Um, so really cool, man. Like he, he did all that and then uh, did his first loans and he was like, he was thankful. He was like, thanks, dude. Like, that's awesome. He's like, I wish you would have shown this to me sooner or whatever. Um, but he had, he's cashing out his crypto at like the highest right now. So... Um, he's like, oh, you should have showed this to me a month ago or something. I'm like, well, you know, Ether a month ago was like 200 bucks. Bitcoin was 3K. So he cashed out his Bitcoin at like 5,700 and his Ether at like 345. So you can't, you can't go wrong with that. But uh, I was just explaining to him, like, dude, you know, this BitConnect, it's like the most easiest way to earn more crypto and or money, depending on what you want to do. If you want to cash it out, then money. Um, if you want to grow your portfolio, then crypto. And it's a lot safer than trading and a lot easier and less maintenance and, and low startup costs than mining. And I told him, like, dude, I don't know if I want to mine anymore. Like, I'm able to make, you know, as much in a week or a day on BitConnect that I, that I make in uh, a month of mining. So... You know, it is what it is, but so uh, yeah, he was he was pretty excited about that. So next month is the huge hard fork. So he wanted me to show him how to how to cash out funds and all that. And I was like, dude, I'm not cashing out right now. I'm like, Bitcoin is at the very need gas. He's like, I'm like, Bitcoin's at the very highest amount ever. You know, I'm like, I'm waiting for Bitcoin to crash and then I'll cash into Bitcoin. And then, you know, ride it back up a little ways and make another 30, 40% on what, uh, what I've already earned, you know, my interest. Um, that's where it gets very interesting. So, I mean, if I'm making an average of 1 or 1.1% interest daily, and then I move that into Bitcoin, when it's low, Bitcoin's volatility on, like, high and low days, like, like max, is, like, 30%. So let's say 20 or 30 percent. 
So if I'm making 1.1% daily, and then I can squeeze another 20% out of that, it's like insane. I mean, you know, 20%, let's say I, I, I move over two, three grand, you know, 20% of that is, is a lot of money. And uh, that's crazy. And then cash it back out when it runs back up. <clears throat> so that's kind of the plan. Um, he saw the value in it right away. He had a lot of questions. I answered all of his questions. Um, he was like, well, what if Bitcoin goes up? What if it goes down? What if, uh, you know, this happens, that happens? I said, it doesn't really matter because you're you're getting paid in U.S. dollar, uh, well, U.S. dollars, basically. So if Bitcoin goes up, you still get 2000 Like, let's say you get paid or you have accumulated $2,000 worth of interest. Um, you know, if Bitcoin's way up, you just buy two thousand dollars less, or two thousand. It's still two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. You just obtain less amount of Bitcoin, but it still worth the same amount. Now, if Bitcoin crashes, you still get two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin when you convert it over. It's just it, two thousand dollars buys you more Bitcoin or whatever. So I'm like, it doesn't really matter because like if you're cashing out instantly, you're getting two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin at the end of the day, and then when you ultimately cash out, you're gonna you know cash out thousand dollars worth of crypto so um, I said you know you can get more risky and, and try to you know convert your interest over to Bitcoin or BitConnect coin and then play that market like I was just talking about with the volatility and all that but I said you know you don't have to do that you know it's you know so and I showed them like now they have a calculator BitConnect has this calculator where you type in the amount of your loan the term of your loan the percentage and then they give you like a um, they tell you basically how much you can earn over the life of your, uh, the term life of your loan. So pretty badass. Um, this is like a major highway by my right by my house, state highway or whatever you want to call it. And uh, they are working on resurfacing it all. And then all of the intersections they're doing, like ADA or uh, you know, um, um, what's it called, like handicap compliance. Where they're adding those like little non-slip grippy pad things by the walkways and stuff on, on all four corners and stuff like that um i guess that must be a new thing or a new law or that they need that or have to have that or whatever but so they've report all of those 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 um intersections but uh that's it guys i don't know it's just kind of talking i haven't really done much vlogging all weekend um last night vicky and i we just kind of hung out we made um, garlic bread pizza. I, I did add a video clip of that. That was really good. Really, really good. I think if we could add like some sausage into that, uh, maybe some green peppers, onions, that that's going to be like pizza. I'm, I'm happy with that. My buddy Luke told me that there's a local pizza place called Lou Malnati's that does a crustless pizza where like the crust is all sausage. And that sounds good too, but like to be honest, pizza places around here are so expensive to get like a large pizza. It could be like 20 to 25 bucks or something. So if, you know, we just make our own or whatever, um, you know, it's less than half that and it's kind of fun. It wasn't, wasn't that bad. Shredded up some zucchini. Once that was ready, then, um, you know, you add some other flavorings and other type of stuff and then, uh, bake that first, basically creating your quote unquote crust and then uh, bake it a second time with your cheese and toppings and all that. So stay tuned for more. We are at the photo location here. This is a little bit of a state park or whatever. Nobody's here. There's only one car. We've got beautiful overcast. Lighting is really nice. Trees are looking really nice. Very cool. And I forgot to put on my boots. So hopefully I don't get my new shoes too dirty. Brand new. But yeah, this is really nice. Really pretty here. <clears throat> what happened there? One more. One, two, three. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Uh, you kill that tree? This one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Do you know what you look up?
up at her and keep your smile good. Put your thumb down a little bit. There, there you go. Nice. You send me the two. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> and one, two, three. Um, head down just a little bit, Carly. I want to see a little bit more of your hair up here. Good.